everybody. I figured I'd show my face a little bit more in my videos. It is, let's see, October 12th, I think. It's Friday. And I am heading south from the Edgewood area, I'm starting to do my winter travels. I'm heading toward Alamogordo. And right now I am camped out about an hour and a half from um, Edgewood south, just south of Corona. There is um, Cibola National Forest land there, uh, about four miles south of town. And there's uh, Forest Road 144, and I highly recommend it. So if you're in the area, come up here. Um, today it's going to be a high of mid-60s. And then we're going to get a cold spell coming in. Um, there might even be some snow over the weekend a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stay here. I got here yesterday. And I'm going to stay here for mm, probably, I think the next good travel day is going to be Wednesday. Um, and then I'm going to go further south. So, uh, I have a quest. I'm going to be looking at another parcel of land, this time in New Mexico, in the mountains. Half acre, owned by a private citizen. I talked to him on the phone. He sounds really nice. guy named Tim who lives in Indiana. He has property in a little town called Timberon. And that is, I think, another three hours south of here. Two and a half, something like that. And I'm going to go look at it. He wants $6,000 for the half acre. But it has a water line on it. So I could access water. Uh, I could get it hooked up. And it is in the big pine trees. Um, the land's worth more than 6000 According to other real estate agents, they are charging like double that. So he's offering it at a really good deal. Um, and it's only $200 down, which I can afford. I don't have to ask anybody for help. And $100 a month for five years. That's much more reasonable. The other property I was looking at in Arizona was for 15 years at $250 a month. I can't do it. I got to be realistic. Anyways, I am on an adventure. Today is the best day for the next three or four days. So I've taken Salem and left my camp all secured. And I am going to this canyon called Red Cloud Canyon. And there are old mines there. And you can't go in the mines, but you can go around the mine tailing piles and stuff. And there's all kinds of stuff to find out there. So I thought I'd bring you with me. And the road there is really pretty. So I thought I'd take you along. And I'm going to turn you around right now. And I'm going to try to stay quiet because I think I'm going to put some music to this part. I'm going to turn you around. Okay. So I'll try and stay quiet because I want to put some music to this. Um, I know YouTube's come out with a bunch of new music and adding music to a CD is tape is pretty easy. I need to experiment with that. So this is the Cibola Forest. And I am at just below 7,000 feet. Maybe we'll see some elk. is there's a lot of camping out here. I picked one of the first spots and it actually overlooks the highway, gets a really good signal, and there's a shooting range near the area. But it's tucked in the trees and I, I love it. It's a great spot. But it looks like there's a ton more camping out here. And 
this is something you could bring a class A. This road is so smooth. I mean, I'm just going slow because I feel like going slow, but I could go probably 40 down here, no problem.
and his descendants started selling it off. But he created the town of Timberon, which is actually in uh, National Forest land. I think it's Lincoln National Forest. And it's zoned recreational. You can either build on it or you can camp on it for up to six months out of the year. You have to have an enclosed vehicle, you know, an RV or a way of dumping or just don't dump on your land. Don't do cat holes on your land. So, I'm going to be interested in checking this out, definitely. Because I really don't want to build anything, not at this point. So if I like it, I'm going to give him the down payment next month, I'll mail it to him. He can mail me an agreement or whatever. Alrighty, now what do we got? Again. Oh, this is all private property in here, but it looks like it's better kept up than uh, the area in Arizona. But it's probably not recreational. This is probably ranching property. See, the land I'm going to look at is actually in... It's about the same elevation, but it's got real trees. Uh, it's got real trees on it. Uh, big, big old pine trees. 